initial thoughts and kind of like a review so far, so to speak, in this bitch. Brass tags. What's going on, people? Don't think I forgot about how much you harassed me for that fucking life jacket I wore. Fuck you guys. Side point. Anyway, it's your boy, Brass Tax in this bitch. You already know. You already know. Yes, you do. Don't act like you don't. But you do. Near Automata. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this. I don't know shit about this. I didn't know that this game is actually a sequel, which it is. I was just looking at pre-orders and shit as I do because I bulk buy my pre-orders. I just pay for that shit up front so I don't have to worry about that later. About a month ago, I was going through Mass Effect and Horizon and all of that shit. And I saw it. Just the picture looked beautiful. And I just clicked on that bitch and it looked interesting. And then I went online to, fig to see what people thought about... You know what the general consensus was, I wanted to see more of gameplay as well. So, which I did. I saw more of the gameplay and I actually really liked it. I've been missing like a, a Devil May Cry, Bayonetta-esque kind of game. I don't think I've even dented this game, but I've played enough of it to formulate an opinion on it. Maybe a mini review. There's a company called Yura. You are playing the game through the eyes, through the perspective of uh, a female soldier android called 2B. Her with a bunch of other android soldiers. And you are you are pretty much tasked with destroying hostile robots and their creators in this bitch. Sometimes what I do is I play a game and I'm listening to a podcast, so I'll have the game on low. You miss anything in this bitch, you're going to get fucked up because the story is more complex than it looks. God damn. But that's pretty much the basics of it. It's like a hack and slash, and it's got shooter elements as well, like the old arcade bird's eye view type shoots. I know there's a term for them, but I don't know what they are. It is a gorgeous looking game, and it's dripping with atmosphere. It's a huge, huge open world, which is a little intimidating. All the different sections are so memorable. It's very difficult to get lost because you kind of do have your bearings and know exactly where you are in this bitch. The combat is A1. It's fluid. You feel every hit, you feel every punch, you feel every swing. It is a very, very finely tuned combat system. On top of that, you've got a skill tree which you can adapt depending on who you are facing. You can just tell by playing the game that a lot of thought has gone into the combat system for this game. Like I said, I haven't played the original so I wouldn't know if it's similar or not, but it is very well thought out. It's something I, I really appreciated and there's a great deal of satisfaction to it. The skill tree can look intimidating because it looks like there's a lot going on but in actuality it's a lot more simpler than it looks quite intuitive in a lot of ways the animations are a one you feel everything they feel because it is portrayed so well on screen animations a one people every scene seems to have its own look and its own atmosphere and its own feeling that accompanies it a lot of thought has gone into this game you can really tell. Another great thing so far about this is the side quests. You can feel as though they're a little redundant because there are quite a lot of them, but they do add to the feel of the game and also quite varied. Remember when I was doing my Resident Evil review and I talked about you'd want to pick up all the little things because you want to get the complete story. That's how I'm feeling about this game too. Especially on the, on the PlayStation 4 console, there's not a lot of games like this at the moment. It's a nice departure from your shooters. It's a very deep hack and slash with shooter elements. It's a really, really good game and the story is pretty good as well. It's different. It's nice to have a different game. I'm giving it an eight, a solid eight so far of what I've played. It gets ultra hard in some points too, but you want, it's not a cheap kind of difficulty. You want to continue to play to get through certain situations because you do want to progress the story forward. I highly recommend this game actually. It's really good. It's, it, it felt really refreshing. It really did. It, it gave me a feeling watching this. I felt like I was there and graphics are A1. That's it guys. I really recommend this game. If you've been on the fence about it, definitely pick it up. It is a good one. I believe it's an exclusive on the PlayStation 4. I'm sorry guys, it feels as though I'm mostly reviewing games on PlayStation 4. I've got Xbox as well. I have been playing For Honor and Ghost Recon as well, and I will be reviewing them shortly uh, on the Xbox One. I would imagine that this is not to everyone's tastes, but if you're looking for something refreshing, this is definitely the way to go, and that's pretty much it. All right guys, that's my kind of mini review on this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, take care, hit the like button if you did like it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm going to catch you guys soon.